Liz. I'm Julia. And we're the Nolan Twins. Welcome back to Squared. If you're new here, we post new videos every Wednesday. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Squared down below. So today, we're going to let you in on a secret Nolan family recipe. We're going to be making Italian meatballs. We're Italian, our mom's Italian. She's gonna make a cameo in this video and she's gonna show us the secret family recipe. So let's get started. So Mama Nolan, introduce yourself. They don't know who you are. I'm this the is one that made these beautiful girls. I Mama Nolan, you. that's what all of her friends call her, but her real name is Marilyn. And every Sunday all their friends would come over and have dinner with us in Mama Nolan's kitchen. And we would have spaghetti and meatballs, antipasto salad, garden salad. Garlic bread. Oh boy, lots of garlic. I'm going to get my hands dirty so I should roll my sleeves oh, up. Oh, it's washing. Alright, hands are washed. Dry. So right now we have a pound of ground chuck and a pound of ground round. So we don't want it too fatty, which would be ground chucks. They're going to do ground chuck and ground round. Okay, Julie, going to add the ingredients. Okay. What do you think first? Garlic. Garlic. Because in every Italian household, you can never have enough garlic. Okay, and that's going to be two pressed garlic cloves. All right, there you go. Already done for you. And that's two pounds of meat. You're going to put one egg per pound. So there's two already uh, slightly beaten eggs that are going in there. Throw them in. Next, we're going to have Parmesan cheese. And that's going to measure about a cup because we like a lot. We're real cheesy. All right, and that's going to make it salty and cheesy. Delicious. Okay, now bread. Instead of using breadcrumbs, we use soaked bread. So we soak that in milk for about 10 minutes. We squeezed out the excess milk. There's one, there's two slices of bread per pound of meat. So that's four slices of bread right there. Okay. And it goes to the mix. Now we're gonna get a little salt and pepper and throw that in. All right, let's see, like I a pinch. I would say about, no, more than a pinch. I would say about a half of a teaspoon. How's that? Yeah, that looks good. And that's how you measure with your hands and then some freshly ground pepper. All right, now this is where the fun, oh no, we forgot the, the best part. The this parsley! The parsley. This is chopped parsley. We pulled that from our garden. So this is fresh homegrown from Ricky's yes. garden. However, if you went out and bought parsley, you'd chop about a half of a bunch. And that's it. Okay. So can I like get dirty with it and get just dirty. mess it up? Now there's okay. only one key factor in making a good meatball. You don't want to over mix because then the meat will get tough. So you just want to mix it until it's just blended and then it's done. Then we're going to roll them and put them in a pan. We're going to fry those babies up into the gravy. That's dinner. So rolling right along, <laughs> get it? I'm gonna roll the meatballs. Rolling meatballs is a true Italian art and you don't wanna over roll or under roll. You wanna do it just right and make sure you grab enough meat to make the perfect ball. You can always add or subtract meat and you can make them to your liking. If you like a big meatball or a small meatball, anything goes. with an extra virgin olive oil, it'll burn. A light olive oil will cook at a higher temperature. That's it. And if you didn't know, she owns her own catering business. She has been in the business for 30 years, so she's kind of a big deal. <laughs> you could call it that. In my own mind. Kiss the cook. Oh, I, I got the whole new lipstick. Oh, and I wish you guys could smell this kitchen right now because it is lit. Mm, delicious. Fry them until they're brown on each So you're just going to turn them, flip them from one side to the other. When they're brown on the first side. All right, so we'll monitor so those. So you're only cooking 
them halfway through. They're gonna they're browning them. You're gonna cook them the rest in the gravy. Whatever your favorite tomato sauce recipe, the meatballs will go and finish cooking. And I let them cook for about on simmer for about another hour in the sauce, and then that's it. You're ready. Voila. And then what they used to do when they were, like these little, like see this little squirty one? Yeah. We'll leave that in the pan and cook it all the way and then they get to eat that one. Yay, Yay. we got to eat it before dinner. So all we do is just stand through to the bottom, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And voila. Mm. Bon appetit. Well guys, thank you so much for joining us on Italian Night at the Nolan House. We hope you love this recipe as much as we do. If you want to see yesterday's video, click here. And if you want to see more from us, click right over here. If you want to subscribe to Squared, click right over here. We also have a personal channel, youtube.com slash Nolan Twins. The link for that can be found down below. And don't forget to comment. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.